I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to show you how to do your Kegel exercises and breathe in two simple steps. This information is for women and for men. Here's why it's so difficult to breathe during your Kegel exercises if you look on screen. When you breathe normally, your breathing muscle called your diaphragm and your pelvic floor both move up and down together like that, as you can see in this image. Then when you do your Kegel exercises, this pattern changes. When you breathe in, your diaphragm moves down and this puts pressure down onto your pelvic floor, making it hard to contract and lift the pelvic floor inwards at the same time. So this is why you may find that you can't Kegel and breathe together, especially when you're a beginner and your pelvic floor muscles are weak. So here's how to breathe and Kegel at the same time. And we're gonna go through this in two steps. Now, the first step is to breathe out as you do your Kegels gently. So let's do that together. What I want you to start with is breathing normally to prepare. Now, breathe in. And as you breathe out, contract and do your Kegel exercise at the same time. Good, and now relax your pelvic floor back to resting. Could you feel your pelvic floor muscles contracting as you breathed out? All right, that's how I want you to start. Now here's step two. This time we're going to do a gentle Kegel exercise and try and hold it, hold the muscles up and keep breathing with a shallow, soft breath. Now it's your turn. Breathe in and breathe out. Now as you gently contract your pelvic floor, try to breathe and just breathe shallow. Keep breathing just shallow and keep your pelvic floor muscles contracted if you can. Keep breathing and holding and now relax your pelvic floor muscles back to resting. How did you go with that? It's not easy, especially if you're starting out with weak pelvic floor muscles. This coordination takes a little time and practice, but you should find that in a short time you can breathe normally and Kegel at the same time. Now, if you're unsure about how to do your Kegel exercises, you can check out my Kegels exercises for beginners and that's linked below. Now, here are the key elements you need to remember with your breathing and your Kegel exercises. Number one, breathe out as you start your Kegel. Number two, do your Kegel exercises gently, not strongly. Number three, breathe shallow at first and keep contracting your pelvic floor muscles. And number four, progress to normal breathing with your Kegels when you're able to. So I really hope this information helps you with your pelvic floor training. If you have any questions, please feel welcome to let me know in the comments below. And I'd really appreciate if you can give this video the thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.